So I'm going to show you one of the features from alicekeela.com slash reuse GC. Now what you can do with alicekeela.com slash reuse GC is reuse assignments for Google Classroom. That's its base function, but it does so much more. So what we're going to look at is how you can add new slides to an old presentation. So notice what I have here is I have some slides that I want to give to students as a daily warm-up. So one day I want to ask them what are three equivalent fractions, another day I want to ask them to describe the numerator, and another day I want to ask them about the numerator and the denominator. So these are my warm-ups for the week, but I don't want to give them out to them all at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Google Slides for the students, and then I'm going to add in the prompt for today, and then tomorrow I'm going to add in the prompt for tomorrow, and then the day after that I'm going to add in the third prompt all into the same slides that are in Google Classroom. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to alicekeela.com slash reuse GC. I'm going to make a copy. Now with all of my stuff, it takes like a good solid minute for the code to load. So you just want to like chillax for a second. Let the code get warmed up before you'll be able to see it in the add-on menu. So it's not there yet. You can see I'm waiting for it. It will also show up here in the add-ons menu once it loads. We're waiting for it. There it is. So I just have to wait a little bit. The menu is going to show up so you can get it from right to the right of the help menu. Or we're going to go to add-ons and go to reuse GC and show the sidebar. You will need to authorize the code. It's going to give you a bunch of, yep, just say allow. I coded all this myself personally. It is safe. And then you're going to want to set up from the sidebar. Choose import classes. And you notice it's kind of pausing. It just depends on your internet speed, but it's trying to load it all up. So whenever you push a button, give it a chance. Sometimes it can take a little while before it looks like it's actually done it. Here we go, I actually only want to do five, not all of those. So it's going to list my Google Classroom classes. And then I'm going to set the class that this spreadsheet is for. So if I had six periods of Algebra 1, I would do alicekeel.com slash reuse GC, one for each one of them, so that I can manipulate my classroom from the individual spreadsheet, but it's one per class. And so once I've set my class, it turns it green, so I know that's the set class. And I'm going to go to Get Assignments. Once the sidebar loads, you're going to ignore these. You'll notice it does allow you to reuse assignments. That's the whole point. And you can create new assignments. And the one that you're looking for in particular is Push Slides. So go ahead and click on Push Slides. And then once you're in there, you have a few options. You can create an assignment because you don't already have one in Google Classroom. If you do already have one in Google Classroom, you can list those assignments and select the assignment that has a Google Slides per student. That's the type of thing we're looking for. It's in Google Classroom, it's an assignment, and every student has a copy of a Google Slides. All right, so then once I've selected the assignment, I'll be able to update those slides. So let's start first by going Create Assignment. What I want to title this assignment, I'm going to name it number 11, some slides for students. Now what this is going to do is going to create a blank Google Slides and make a copy for every student. So what's nice about this is I don't have to remember to do make a copy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to post the assignment right into Google Classroom. Now you want to have slides ready to go. So I'm going to copy these. These are the slides I'm going to use to build my daily warm-ups. So I want to link to these are the slides I'm going to use. And you'll see it creates a push tab that has all the assignments that you pushed slides for. So I can go ahead and open this in Google Classroom. You can see that it made me an assignment. And I go to student work. And you notice it says here, no attachments assigned. But I was expecting them. 
it takes a little time for Google Classroom to create a Google Slides per student and sometimes that times out. So you do want to make sure that all of your students have a Google Slides. They actually just need to open the assignment and they would get the slides. So in the assignment I can click on the class Google Drive folder for this assignment and I can see that I have a bunch of Google Slides for my students. It does, you notice it's still making them. It just takes a little time for it to create all of the slides. But what I want you to notice it says last modified by and it has the student's name. So that's the way Classroom works is it creates an assignment per student where the student is the owner. So I'm going to come and go back to the spreadsheet since I've already created the assignment. I'm going to check box and choose to update slides. So I want to use this blue button and I'm going to push a slide into those slides. So do I want to update? Yes, I would like to update. What slide number do I want to push? I'm going to do slide two. And then it says, do I want to be at the top? So that's usually my preference. I like the new slide to be at the top. So as soon as they open their Google Slides, they see the slide that they're supposed to be working on. If you say no, it'll ask if you want it at the bottom. And if you say no to that one, it'll allow you to say which slide position you want to put the slide into. So one at the top, I do. And you can see here that it is now updating the slides. It does take some time to open each slide and add the new slide. Once it's done, it's gonna open up the assignment so that's how you can tell unless you have pop-ups blocked and then it won't open the assignment. So let's just hang tight. I'm gonna cut out the waiting time because it can actually take five plus minutes for it to open every student and add that slide in. And it has opened the assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and check, go to student work. And you can see that the slides has this purple one. Let's go ahead and open it. And this is the slide that I pushed out to each student. This is their warm up for today. So let's go ahead and push another one. So I'm gonna come back to the spreadsheet. I'm gonna update my slides. And in this case, yes, I wanna update. I wanna do slide three. Do I wanna push to the top? Yes. And I can see that the first slide is now blue instead of purple. I have pushed out this updated prompt to each of the students' Google Slides. Okay, so what about if you already have an assignment? So what I showed you is how I create an assignment from the spreadsheet. It adds the assignment into Google Classroom with a blank Google Slides that you can then update by pushing slides into it. If you already have one, what you're going to do is in Google Classroom, you would have already done create an assignment, number 0112, here are your slides. I'm going to add from Google Drive, I'm going to add the student slides, and I need to change it from view to make a copy for each student, and I'm going to go ahead and assign. Now again, it does take a little time for Google Classroom to produce that Google Slides per student, so you might want to just double check that the students have a slide. So I'm going to go ahead and open that assignment. I see it doesn't look like everybody has slides yet. Go into Drive. Doesn't have any slides yet, but hang tight because I, oh, here we go, right? And so it is creating a slide per student, you see it just takes some time for Google Classroom's code to make this copy. So before I jump back into the spreadsheet, I do want to make sure it had a little bit of time to generate all of those slides before I start pushing slides. But let's go ahead and look at one of these student slides. You'll notice that I had made a copy per student, that I already had my prompt right in the slides. It's ready to go. So they can get started on it, but it only has one prompt.
Okay, so I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet. And in this case, I don't want to use that assignment. This time, I want to list current assignments. And it's going to give me a list of all the assignments in my Google Classroom. And I wanted to do number 12. So I'm going to check the number 12. And I'm going to select the current assignment. And I need a Google Slides to the master. So here are my masters. Paste. OK. So it has added that assignment on to my push tab. So for number 12, I want to update those slides. So I'm going to update the slides. It says, do I want to update it? Yes, I do. What do you want to push? I want to push slide three. And do I want the slide pushed to the top? No. I want it pushed to the end? Yes. And so now we can see that it is updating, and it should take a few minutes for all of them to be pushed. And once it's done, it is going to launch the assignment. I can go to student work and choose one of the student slides. And I am able to see that my bottom slide is the slide that I pushed into this presentation. I can do it again where I update. And this time I'm going to push slide four, not to the top, but to the end. And those are going to update where I'm going to see that this student slides will have a fifth slide added to the bottom.